Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birth and Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee, guys. Listen, we are back with another video, guys. want to show you all how the um, spa relaxation baskets turned out that I did a video for uh, earlier today. If you guys did not get a chance to watch that video, make sure that you go back and watch the video about me doing an assembly line. Guys, listen, these are the baskets that I did. I want to tell you the um, steps that I did to create all of these baskets today. There's nothing that I did um, as far as the creating of the baskets in advance. The only thing that was done in advance was the boxes were already um, covered thanks to my mom and um, the newspaper was already bought up thanks to my kids, okay? Um, with my children, my adult children, they're not kids. But anyway, thanks to them, my um, newspaper was already done. So today, as far as assembling, everything was actually done today when it comes to these baskets, okay? Um, and what I did, I just went ahead and put each item into the basket. And most of the items in the basket have the same items, if not the exact same items, the same kind of um, setup or the same kind of theme, okay? Some things have a little bit different, like this one has a teddy bear in it and um, none of the others do. Um, but all of them have a candle in it and it has candy and it has a gift set and it have a bathrobe. All of it has that. It's just small um different things that um that they have <clears throat> that are not alike but anyway i have two four six seven baskets that i have accomplished in not much time at all the bows were already done i don't think i mentioned that the bows were already done um all i did was went in and added two to the bows that were already created previously those are all things that I've done in advance on my downtime. Maybe my back is bothering me. I'll sit down and make bows when I don't feel like working on baskets, okay? So that's how I'm able to get it done so quickly. I went in and put all the items in. After I did it, I didn't work on one by one. I put the items in one by one. Once I got all the items in, then I went back and I put shrink wrap bags on all of them, okay? Once I put shrink wrap bags on all of them, I then went back and put the bow on all of them. After I put the bow on all, then I went back and I began to shrink wrap them one by one. And then I had seven completed baskets at the end. I didn't put the shrink wrap bag on and then shrink it. Um, even though you can do it that way, um, I just did it. I felt like I was getting by a lot quicker by going ahead, slipping the bag on it, set it to the side, slip the bag on, set it to the side. That way, when I got ready to shrink wrap, I could just go from one basket to the next, to the next, to the next. I didn't have to stop, put the bow on it. Everything was already done as far as that was concerned. But I think these baskets came out absolutely amazing, you guys. I'm going to let you see each and every one up close if you want to get some ideas of some different things you can put in baskets. Each one has a picture in the back that says something about home or relaxation or something to that degree. All of them either have a mug or they have a cup in them as well. This one is kind of like a queen theme. I got a queen coffee mug. And someone was asking in one of my videos, where did I get these little queen emblems from? Believe it or not, they are actual um, Christmas ornaments that they had at Walmart that was part of the um, Kwanzaa's um, theme, okay? And I got those. I always, always pick up items like that because, like I said, they may have them in the store as one item, but when I'm a creator and a designer, I see something totally different. So when I saw those ornaments, I already knew that they would be somewhere on my baskets, okay? So when you see items like that that are really, really dirt cheap, I understand you may not be able to pick up everything, but when you see items that are dirt cheap, like these signs right here, I got them maybe last year or the year before, and I know I have over a 100 probably left of these signs, just different signs, um, but a lot of people were leaving them behind in the store. And I know it was a lot of crafters as well, probably thinking, what am I going to do with all of those signs? Well, if you're only paying 10 cent for them, like they were a dollar, I paid them like 90% off. Some I got for a penny. 
um, why not pick those things up? You can be concerned about what you're going to do with it later on. You know, the object is just to get it in your stockpile and box it up for the next following year. And you can figure out what you're going to do with it whenever. Actually, these hello love signs don't just have to be used for Valentine's Day. They can be used for Mother's Day. They can be used for a birthday. Anytime, guys. So, anyway, everything is complete, ready to go. The only thing I've got to do is tag, um, put a tag on all of the baskets. And my daughter has been doing that for me, putting a tag on them. And a lot of people ask, you know, what are you going to charge for this? What are you going to charge for that? I do not have the exact price what I'm going to charge. But if you've been following me since last year, you know that I will take a day very soon where I go into my stockpile. And, um, well, not my stockpile, but my gift basket inventory and show you guys what I have some of my baskets priced for, okay? Make sure you are pricing what you're worth, what your items are worth, not what people are willing to pay. I'm going to say that again. Not what people are willing to pay. You have to take in consideration the economics of the area, meaning whether it's a high cost of living, a medium um, cost of living, but not what people are willing to pay because what they're willing to pay and what it's worth is two different things, okay? Because some people are just cheap and some people are not going to spend what they need to spend, but you cannot base your prices off of what people are willing to spend, okay? Keep that in mind. It'll help you make so, so much money in the long run and keep you from getting burnt out from doing something that is supposed to be a means of income that you're now really just having as a hobby. Because if you're not making money or you're barely breaking even, you have a hobby, okay? And the object of this game is not to have a hobby. It's to have fun while you're doing it. But the object of this game is to create income. Okay, guys? So I'm going to get off this video, but I hope this video has been an inspiration to you guys. And not just an inspiration, but dedication. Dedicating yourself to getting your items done, getting your gift baskets done, and getting them priced so you can get out here on the streets and sell them, guys. I hope this video helps you guys do whatever it is that you need to do, whether it be assembling your products, showing you how to get them in the basket, showing you creative ways to make your bows, whatever. We will try to do a video on bows real, real soon. All right, guys. So that's it for this video, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so that each and every time I upload a video, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag. Until the next video, bye.